Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and all the best for the new year. So getting into the Weekly Outlook, starting with the DXY on the daily. I'll just get my pen. So we're looking at this internal wave. So we've got a WXY. This wave Y still may not be over and can get to this 161.8 or we're in this correction now and um, for x2 before we get the z up so nothing's really changed there <clears throat> i think we are starting to get that correction that x2 um, there's still no confirmation of that yet looking at the h4 internet's a little bit slow so nothing's really changed since my last week there. Look, we're looking for that A, B. We're looking for this C down. We can see in here we get an A, B, C in here, for, and then we get that A, B, C. Um, if you do get a little flag in here, we go down to the H1. We don't have any bullish divergence so if you get a little flag in here you could look for the scalp but it's only really a scalp to go and break the low um, and then look for your you know your, your buy set up for the daily z up au on the daily So we got that W, X, Y, X2 and Z down, but we lost the bullish divergence, like I've been saying. So I'm looking at this as a correction and then we get more downside. Um, nothing's changed. Um, so if we go down to the H4, I'll just put that trading view idea out for an A, B, C. It finally got up there. Um, to the 100 fib but we got a larger correction in here larger b wave for the a b c now we've broken the trend line um, we don't have any bullish divergence but non-farm payroll we've got a bad number on the non-farm payroll so we can look at this still as a W, X, Y, a flat in here, a possible flat in here, and we get another one down in here, or this is a W, X, and this is the end of wave Y, and then we get some sort of a correction in here, and we get a bear, a bear hidden to give us that next one down. So at this stage, you could look for the buy and you could put a sell stop at the low here. Uh, if you're looking for that A, B, C in here and then uh, the Z down, you can put a sell stop in here. Or you could look for a bullish flag in here um, to give you more upside. I, I, I'm not really looking for this top to be broken. I dare say we will get that bear hidden because we don't have any bullish divergence and then we'll get another one down. So I'd be more interested in the sell, but you can scout along a if you get that nice bullish flag in here. EU on the daily. Mm. My internet's pretty slow. For some reason so nothing's really changed um, on the daily it's very similar to dxy we're looking at this wxy now this wave y may not be over um, or wave y is over here and we're getting the x2 now 
and then we get that Z down. There's no confirmation yet that this is the X2. That's the problem, but it's looking very corrective. You can see how corrective this is looking. So oh, I've lost me MACD and all my counts. So we can look at this as an A, B, and then we've got the C down for the A, B, C. So this may be the top of end of wave C, and then we, we go down from here. But again, we've got a bad non-farm payroll, and we've got that spike up. So this may not be over. We may be looking at it like an A, B, C in here before we get the A, B, C to finish off this move. So again, if you get a little bullish setup in here, you can look for the buy just as a scalp. Um, you'll have to be careful of the trend line. GU on the daily. Now this one come down and hit that 100 fib, just about hit that 100 fib. We got that W, X, Y, we lost the bullish divergence. That was the problem. And now we're getting that possible bear hidden, like I've mentioned. So um, there is a possible that we get another one down in here, breaking the low. Looking at the H4. So we got W, some sort of an X. We're in a wave Y, wave for X2, and then you could look for that Z up and then look for yourself set up for that bear hidden. Unless this top gets broken. If this top gets broken here, well, that invalidates that uh, bear hidden. And you on the daily. So again, this is quite tricky. Like I mentioned last weekly outlook, we got one, two, three, one, two, three. Now this can just be an impulse down or we get one, two, three, four, five for some larger uh, complex correction before we get this A, B, C. And then you get that A, B, C in here. So it's quite, um, it, it, it's not a clear structure what we're getting in here. There's a couple of different scenarios. Um, we do have a high high here. And um, we're getting a bull hidden here by the look of it. I'll just check to see if that is a bull hidden. Yeah, it is a bull hidden. So you could look for the buy. Um, if you go down to H1, you sort of, if you get any sort of buy set up, um, if you get a flag or a correction in here, look for that buy to go and break the top. Um, you definitely want to be break even at that top because we'll dare say we'll get bearish divergence. UY on the daily. So we're looking at that A, B, C. Um, we had that ball hidden here, like I mentioned, and we got a high high. Um, we're very close to this 100 fib and we're getting bearish divergence now. So sort of more interested in looking for the cells. Um, if you go down to the H4, this is still looking, see I was looking for this 
as an A, and then we're looking for a B and a C down. It's gone and broken the top. So this still can be a correction as a running or expanding flat. Um, you know, we get an expanding flat in here for more upside for the A, B, C. So this is still looking rather bullish, but if we go down to the H1, we can, we've broken the low. Um, so we can look at this as a contracting flat. And then we get that A, B, C. We don't have any bullish divergence. So we could look at it. This may go down to the 161.8. And then we get like a W, X, Y, X2, and then a Z down. Um, in this wave C on the H4. So um, if you get any little bear set up, I'd look for the, the cell. I'm more interested in the cell for that H4 wave C down. So if you do get a set up for that, a cell set up, I'd be looking for the cell at this stage. Uh, the Swissy on the daily. So this is really choppy. Um, I was looking for this A and then an A, B, C in the B wave. We got the B wave breaking the top here, so that was fine. And then I was looking for this C down. The, the problem here is this is very choppy. You know, um, I'm still expecting more downside, but it, it, it's very, it's looking very corrective. It's it's not looking impulsive. You know, we're looking for something like this in here. Instead, we're getting this. You know, a H four. We do have a bear hidden here. So we got a bear hidden. So you can really only look for the cell. So if we go down to H1, we've got an ABC up and we've got the bearish divergence. So ideally we get a little bit more downside breaking the trend line, either a correction or a flag, and then you look for that downside. So I'll be looking for the cell. UCAD on the daily. Not really slow internet for some reason today. Anyway, so we've broken the top here. So I was looking for that A, B, C. Um, I think we do have bearish divergence here. Yeah, we've got a lot of bearish divergence and we've got the cross down on the MACD which is nice. So now we can start to look for more downside, possibly breaking this low here. Um, like I've been mentioning um, in, for a long time now on the daily, whatever's happening in here is corrective. So we can still get another one down in here and then still give that C up. This may not be the end of wave C. All this in here, maybe a b wave and then we get the c up so but either way i'm looking for the cell at this stage so this was quite difficult um so now we're looking at on the h4 we're looking at uh a b c so we're targeting 100 fib on the H4, we did have a possible bull hidden on Friday, which made it quite difficult. Um, we had a bull hidden in here, a possible bull hidden to go and give us that, like, um, like a flat in here for all the A, B, C, and then give us the downside as a larger correction in here, but it's fallen over. so. Um, 
if you're not on this one here, which was quite risky because we did have that possible bull hidden. If you get another flag in here or correction, you can look for the downside now. GY on the daily. Just wait for it to load. So we got that uh, WXYX2 Z up to the first target. Um, the problem here was this here, we had that possible ball hidden, like I've mentioned. Um, so we could have broken that top. It's not valid to trade as ball hidden um, and it hasn't quite broken that top. But usually even if they aren't valid to trade, we'll get that deep correction uh, correction in here and it doesn't break that top on the h4 we had that a b c down with bullish divergence bounce off that 100 fib um i was sort of just looking for a correction in here and then more downside um that possible ball hidden did has nearly played out. And we don't have any bearish divergence. So we can look at this as a, some sort of W, X, Y. So we'll be looking for the X2 and then a Z up. Um, if it breaks that top, it um, will get even more bearish divergence for more downside. I'd be waiting for the X2. So we got to, wherever this ends, and then a Z up. Um, on the H1, we are getting a nice self set up here. Um, this is looking very corrective in here. I'd be looking for the cell in here, even if it's just an A, B, C. Um, I think it's worth taking this, if you do get the setup um, to take this. Um, yeah, so I'll be looking for this cell in here. You'd have to go down onto the lower time frames. Um, we got a lower low in here and this is looking corrective. So we should at least get an A, B, C in here. So that's what I'll be looking for this week or next week. EG on the daily. This is quite difficult as well. We got that W, X, Y, X to Z down, hit the first target, and then we start to get all this. Now, this is starting to get quite tricky. We, we got bullish divergence in here between these, and then we got that higher high, but then prices come down and break the low, and now we've lost that bullish divergence in the last two pieces. So it's getting quite um, tricky. We're down to that 161.8 and we're sort of bouncing off that now. Looking at the H4, we'll be looking for that X2. So we've got a W, X, Y. We don't know if this wave Y is over, but wherever you get this correction for the X2, wait for the correction, and then you could look for that Z down, and then we definitely all want to be on this buy. You know, it should be a nice buy. We're waiting for this to end, um, for this wave Z on the daily to end, and then we can look for the buy for at least a 50 fib retrace of the daily. Looking at gold, On the daily. So this has become very complex as well. So we're looking at that W, X, Y. We're looking for that X2 and a Z down. This one never broke the low, like I've mentioned. Um, and now it's come become quite tricky because we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. 
and we can look at this as one, two, three, four, five, like I mentioned, or we get an A, B, C in here. So there's a couple of different scenarios here that can happen. It's very complex and we don't really know what structure is going to play out because like I said, we can get one, two, three, one, two, three, and then five down in here for a complex correction. And then we get that A, B, C in here before we get some sort of A, B, C in here and then go, or it becomes even more complex and we get, a C up in here and then another one down. So it's becoming quite complex with the different scenarios that possibly could play out. Looking at the H4, now we haven't broken that top. So I'm not sure why I got that C there. We've got a uh, A, B, C up in here. Um, trend line break. Trend line break in here. So we don't have any bullish divergence and lower low. So I'll be more interested in looking for the sell. Um, for more downside um, for that that five waves down in here um, at this stage. There's no buy setup on it. Um, you can only really sell it because we don't have any bullish divergence. Um, yeah, you really need to go down on the lower time frames and scalp it. Um, you know, you're only really scalping it because you're in a large correction. Looking at uh, WTI on the daily. So we got the five up, we got W, X, Y, X2, Z up, nearly hit the second target, that 161.8. But again, we have this possible ball hidden. Um, like I've been mentioning, so this can either give us a deep correction, not breaking this top, because it's not valid to trade this as bull hidden, um, or the bull hidden does play out and breaks that top. So, so we may get a break of the top, H4, we got like a W, X, we're in a wave Y. Um, then we'll be looking for that X2 and then a Z up. Whether you want to wait for the, the X2, it's probably a good idea to wait for that X2 because at this stage we do have internal bearish divergence. Um, and then look for that Z up on the H1. So we do have bearish divergence in here for an A, B, C. You really need to see trend, oh. trend line break in here. really need to see a trend line break in here to give us that sell, give us some sort of a sell setup to sell. Because if you look on the lower time frames, this may be an A, B, C in here, and then we go and break the top. Because we're still in this wave Y, this wave Y still may not be over. So you really need to wait for a nice sell setup before you look for the sell for this X2, or if, if you're still looking for the buys, you know, you could put a buy stop. You can only put a buy stop up the, above there, and it is risky because we do have the bearish divergence already. But I'll be more interested in the sell, looking for the trend line break. 
a bearish setup and then look for that sell. Looking at Bitcoin, but um, looking at Bitcoin on the daily. So we still have this dilemma of this ball hidden here. We haven't broken this low. So there is still a possibility of a price going up and breaking this top until this until we take out this uh, possible ball hidden on the daily. Looking at the H4. I'm sort of looking for this as the end and then we'll get the ball hidden from here. And um, we had this nice um, correction in here to buy. Um, it turned out it was a correction. And we, we went and broke that low. We're starting to get bullish divergence now. So it's starting to get risky to sell um, until you get a larger correction. Um, if we just look at the H1. You see, we don't have any bullish divergence on the H1 either. Um, you could, if we go down onto M15, see M15, if you wanted to scalp it, you've, you've, we've got bullish divergence here. So you can look, if you get a break of the trend line in here, you could look to scalp and it, it is only a scalp, but it may get, get you into uh, the ball hidden, possible ball hidden on the daily. Um, so if if you do get you know a break and a little flag in here, you know you could look for that buy and move it to break even, and then just hold it because you may get that ball hidden from here um, on the daily. So you know um, something to consider if you're looking for the buy. If it takes you out um, at break even. Well, um, you just have to look for another buy until this, uh, till this the the low is broken. Um, but yeah, so that's something to consider in here. If you do get the setup, you could look for the scalp and possibly get onto that ball hidden. Looking at S and P on the daily, so. So we finally have bearish divergence again. Um, we've had it all along. Right. Ever since back here, you know, we've had all that bearish divergence. So now looking at it, we got a move down and then we got three up breaking the top. So this can be a flat in here. So we get like an A, A, B, C, and then we get that A, B, C in here before we get A, B, C. So even though we have bearish divergence, we still may not be getting this larger correction yet. It still may not be over the top side. Because we've got three breaking the top. If we have a look on H4, we are looking over here, we are looking for that larger correction. Um, instead, we got very choppy movement in here, like I mentioned. We got a expanding triangle. If we look at this as an expanding triangle in here and we get A, B, C breaking the top, you know, there's no reason why, if this is a triangle, why we can't get that A. B, C, and then more upside. So we don't know where this wave C will end. So it is quite risky selling, um, unless you sold up the top here somewhere. Looking at H1, see, 
this is what you really needed to sell up here. It's starting to get choppy now, and we don't know where this wave C ends. Um, what you could do is, if we look at this as the end, and we get an A, B, C, if you look for that C up, wait for the C up, and then you could put a sell stop at the low there for the sell, or you could look for the um, buy in here. If you go down onto the M15, it's similar to uh, Bitcoin, you know. Um, you could look at this as the end because we have that bullish divergence. And look at this as an A, B, C. But again, you're going to have to get it to break even. And um, yeah. And then if it does take you out at break even, well then if you get a sell set up, well then you could look for the sell. But yeah, more for the experienced traders really. Looking at the DAX on the daily. So we got that W, X, Y, X, two, and then the Z up to the first target. We got the trend line break and I was just looking for a correction in here to give us that 50 fib move down, correction down. Um, instead, it's giving us a very deep correction. I'll have to see if that's broken the top. It hasn't quite broken the top. And we have bearish divergence. So you could look for the sell. Um, if you get a sell set up, we've got we've crossed down here. So I'll have a look on the H1 to see if there is anything. Again. We have bearish divergence on the H1, and this is looking like an A, A, B, C. So you may get a, a running or expanding flat in here, and then you could look for more downside. So if you get this, uh, if you get a nice C up here. Oh, sorry. So if you get a C up here and then a cell set up, you could look for that cell. I'm really only interested in the cell. I hope you enjoyed the weekly outlook. Hit the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you out there next week. Enjoy.